Hello everyone, how's it going? This is me, Kerwan again, in a new video about well, some special point that is, is normally I see in my plant in the field. You know, some of you, you have information about it, you have a data and you have information and you know about my style, for example, that I wanted to share my experience, my information, the old stuff that I get in the field, I want to share it from the video. This video that I shared in the LinkedIn, in the Facebook, and also in my YouTube channel, you can follow and you can get information, especially about the experience side, the practical side that I all the time I focus on it. Guys, for this video, I want to share a special point that is so, so important in oil and gas industry. This point, you know, guys, the oldest time we have to think and we have to consider how we can protect our plant okay as you know uh, when some company they wanted to for example the build and create and make some special plant they are thinking it's in the several sides one of the sides they are thinking about the safety protection of the plant for example some time in the USA, for example, why all the time they focus on the safety protection of the system and sometimes they make some special point about the safety side is because they are not thinking and they are not caring about who a value in the plant. As you know, it's generally this stuff it is attached with what? With the high person that they working in the field and the control room operator especially, they are not caring about who is who became a control room operator? As you know, some of the person has a high experience, maybe 15 years, 10 years, 20 years, and maybe it's, they have a high years experience. And sometimes maybe some blunts, they, for example, they bring some new person that they don't have, a, for example, high years experience, maybe one year, two years, that's not enough. That means the company that they want to create and make the Plan, they don't care about who is available in the control operator. They think about the, some special standard for protecting the system. We have a special system that we can call SIS unit. SIS system, sorry. That means SIS system, safety instrument system. That is mean how we can protect in the plant, okay, and equipment this from a special point from a special program from a special equipment okay guys let's see in here we have two phase separator it's normally the feed is coming from the other units the feed is consists of the two different phase the liquid and the gas we wanted to separate both of them we sent to where to the two phase separator as you know the vapor is going out from the top of the separator and the liquid is coming down from the bottom of the separator which we wanted to send to the next process and also the vapor in the vapor we have a two stream one of them is a like a normal operation line we can call the vapor and we have a special control valve pcv control valve to control the pressure and we have a lcv to control in what of the level inside of the separator and other line that is coming out that is Separate from the vapor line is we can call the PSV pressure safety bottle. That means each equipment in the plant that you're working on it should be it has a special equipment like a PSV and PRV to protecting water to protecting your main equipment. Okay, guys, this stuff is normally we can see in our plant, but today I want to, for example, to share the best and the most important point that is how we can protect in all the system by what if you see in here we have a feed we have a feed after feed we have a special valve that's normally we can call ESD emergency shutdown valve that's mean we can get information from the name of the control valve ESD emergency shutdown valve it has a two option the first one this valve is fully open or fully closed that means no have a more option now have the 50 percent 25 percent 75 percent that is mean it's just installing to working in the fully 
and zero percent fully open and fully close the valve this emergency shutdown valve is connected with the, some other points for example in this video in here if you see in here in the right hand i want to talk about the alarm system and the second one protect the system where the pressure reach high high okay guys in here about for example the safety instrument system we have some different kind of the same instrument system but one of them we're going to talk about for example this for example if we have an alarm for example we have a pressure alarm we have a high pressure we have a high high pressure and we have a level low pressure we have a low low pressure low low level okay in here and we have a, for example high high level in here i want to talk about jet pressure guys we have a two dedicated the first one if we have an alarm about high that is mean the software is remind you please you have the alarm in this point for example you have an alarm for the pressure when the pressure increase is more than the normal operation pressure guys this is supported is working at four bar pressure okay but if the pressure is reached to near the design pressure to near the maximum low working pressure should we have a sign for example some indication to remind us to give the for example the information it's say please be careful your plan your equipment is maybe this became is goes to the danger points for that reason in here in the pressure we have uh, some different alarms for example, you have a high alarm, we have a high, high alarm. Okay. How we can get it, for example, useful from the ESD emergency shutdown valve. In the same time, we have a PSV. Why we have a PSV? Why we have emergency shutdown valve? Guys, in here, just I bring the one separator. But maybe in your plant, we have a two separator. You have a heat exchanger. We have a pump, for example. You have a tower. You have a heater. But just I bring, for example, special sample, like a separator to know how we can get it useful from what from the sis system safety instrument system by for example by installing a special equipment we can call emergency shutdown valve how this emergency shutdown valve is working guys this emergency shutdown valve right now is connected to what connecting to the pressure high high pressure for that reason if the pressure of the separator right now we have a 6.4 bar if the pressure of the separator is reach 4.57 bar that's mean the high high pressure directly send a signal to where to the ESD the ESD valve if you look the output manipulating the output of the control valve that means the percentage of the, the control valve or the valve is operating 100 percent when the pressure is reached 4.57 bar directly send the signal like by cause and effect, he send a signal to ASD. He says the pressure is reached in the high, high pressure. For that reason, the ASD getting the signal and close the ASD fully. That means right now it's 100% open. At that time, it's closed to 0%. For that reason, we have to look at that 100%. We have a flow, molar flow, 329.5 kilogram mol per hour but when this high high pressure is send a signal the ASD shot and at that time we can see you no know, have any flow of this goes to where to the separator when no have any flow that means the pressure that no have any vapor that's mean the pressure of the separator is coming down for that reason by this action by this system we can protect it all unit okay guys let's just do it together I want to go to the right if you see and you have you have a special chart in here that's dedicated for example liquid level in the separator and the pressure separator and also how much the flows pass from the PSE V. Right now it's not have a model flow because should be the gas, the vapor is not passing from the PSV. In just one time, if the pressure is reached 4.6 seconds, at that time the PSV is over. Okay, but right now we don't want to the PSV is pop up. Okay, guys, let us run the plant. I will not run. Not you see, the chart is running. Let me show you. This is the chart. We have a three different charts here. Okay. We have a three different charts. 
this each of them is for example dedicated and show some different point for example liquid level and the pressure and the PSV flow rate that is passive from this line okay guys now the sad point is how much I want to show you for example the face plate let's bring that okay right now the set point is four we have two alarm high alarm and high high alarm look guys when you create the pressure for example now it's four point i wanted to increase the 4.1 look guys the chart is changed okay now right now the pressure is four point is one okay but still don't have any activity now have any for example emergency case because why because the pressure is not reached four point five seven okay guys i want to increase for example to four point three okay look the chart is changed why because you increases the set point of the pressure i want to increase for example the pressure from four point five look guys the color of the pic pressure indicator control is changed from the normal green to what to the yellow that is mean it's dedicated for what let's see the message in here he says look warning pic 102 high alarm that's mean it can, we can get the high alarm in here but not reach it high high why because the reach in high high is equal to 4.57 let's go to more the pressure 4.55 okay just we have a high alarm and this time should be the control room operator is make action why because we have alarm but i'm not for example the if you wanted to for example to get this action how we can for example the control room operator get the action you can for example go back to the last video that i shared in my youtube and the fb at the link at the end you can look you can go to check this video i want to, for example look guys i want to change to 4.57 you have to change the color of the pic and also the flow right in here and also the open position of the emergency shutdown right 4.57 look guys look direct right now no have any high alarm because it's equal to what 4.57 but if you see in here the output the position of the esd is shut fully that's mean from 100 percent to zero if you see here no more flow that is passing from the stream number two and number one the motor flow is equal to minus that means no more flow is passed to where to the separator the pressure of the separator you know we have a set point of the separator this point this set that we want we have a pv this means this pressure that right now is available inside of the separator the pv is 4.29 it's because we cut in the flay the feet no more vapor is coming to the vape to the separator no more increasing the pressure by this side by this safety we can protect in our plant guys for that reason it's all the time i talk about the high seas you have to learn more about the high seas you have to get information we have to become an expert in the high seas if you want to become an expert in the high seas you can contact me to get to get one of the courses that I have about the heises because I have a several different courses in heises, in general heises courses, and the advanced and the dynamic and the control room operator course about the heises. Okay, guys.